Welcome back to Journey of a Basketball Player. This is Mexico Volume 15. Um, you can see my teammate right here. That's my coach and his girlfriend. And we're all walking toward uh, the gym that we play at. So, um, luckily for us, the gym is really right down the street from our apartment. Where me and my my teammate we sh we shared this apartment. You know, and uh, we are pretty much in close proximity to everything that we need. That was the cool part about uh, playing in Mexico. Um, some brief history before uh, we've been playing preseason games, you know, for like a month or so. And the cool thing about playing with this team was. We were able to, since we weren't playing, we were able to also play in money tournaments. And that's what I was playing in and my teammate was playing in um, beforehand. He also played in the, in the top league, the LMBP. He was on the practice team and then played um, some time in the Chihuahua League. Um, we are walking into our first game. Um, the facilities here, like the floor, we, it's not really a wooden floor, it's a concrete floor, but we play inside. So, um, it's, it's quite interesting. Um, right now they have a game going on beforehand. And right here you, you can see my owner, he's bouncing the ball. So this is the owner of the team. And he's greeting us, he bounced the ball. And they're gonna give us, you know, our free gear and, and stuff like that. So, you know, you always make sure that we were taken care of as a true professional. Um, and that's what I liked about the club. You see some of my other teammates, that's my boy, Tony. Caesar. He came all the way from Moralia, so he takes him a while. And then we're getting our jerseys and stuff like that. So, you know, they always they had the t-shirts and, and and all the gear for us. You know, their names on it, the hat, everything, man. See the guy, he does he does all that. So that that was you know pretty cool about you know the team. Um, some of the other younger guys that looked up to us, we see him in the Eddie, and uh, that's a men's league. So they play every weekend. They play basketball, and basketball in Mexico is actually pretty big. Uh, they play year round. That's my boy Alex from the Eddie Gym, and he's the one that does the private training and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, as far as basketball, they play year-round in Mexico. So that's the cool thing about playing in Mexico is they play when the league starts, another league finish. You know, a league finish, a league start. Let me, let me rephrase that. Once one finish, another one starts back up. So you could play in Mexico year-round if you're a player. Just stay in shape. Um, in a professional league, semi-professional league, whatever the case is, or money tournaments, um, and other stuff that they have going on in Mexico. So, uh, some of the guys, I was telling some of those guys, you know, that's in the States, man. If you need to jumpstart your career, Mexico is a great place to start it off. Um, and here we go. We're jumping into the Sabaha and check out some of the games.
Yes, um, um, we're back. Right now, if you've seen some of the highlights, I wasn't too much uh, in, in, in the highlights. So that kind of summarizes my season in, in Mexico. So I got hurt before preseason. Just, uh, I'm leaving because we parted ways mutually that it was a better decision for me to leave so um, it sucks but you know sometimes the shoe doesn't fit man as a basketball player and as a professional man uh, sometimes you know situations work out sometimes they don't so right now, I'm kind of, I could have stayed in Mexico and played with my friend down in Oaxaca and probably won a championship with him. But I had some stuff going on with the family back in the States. So I just decided that it was best that I go back home and, and take care of, you know, what was going on back at the crib. So now I'm at Guadalajara Airport and I'm, you know, waiting on my plane to get back to Vegas. So I have to fly from Guadalajara to Fort Dallas, Dallas-Fort Worth, <laughs> and, you know, wait on the plane. So I'm at the airport. It was a nice little ride to get there. I had to take a bus and a taxi from the bus station so like I said it was nice nice ride it was, I've been probably riding for I want to say six seven hours just to get to the airport so kind of tired you know can't wait to get some sleep on a plane but you know at the same time I'm not kind of satisfied because of, you know, the situation that happened, you know, back with the team. So that's what it is. Now I'm in Dallas, Fort Worth. Finally made it to customs. Waiting no on my plane to get to Vegas. And that's the only thing I just like about Dallas is going through customs. I, I just, I don't know. I just don't like the whole process. You know, you got to get your luggage, recheck it, re-put the bag in, go back through TSA and do all this other stuff. But made it to my gate and now I'm about to be on my way to fly to the house and see my sons that miss me. And probably savage some of my summer so you know um, it was fun Mexico as far as the overall experience I can't complain um, I wish things would have went a little bit better but like I said this is a business and things do happen and hopefully my next situation is better than my last So we don't. Hey guys, subscribe now to Jay Kyler if you haven't, and continue to follow the journey.